Hi, when we start discussing about solar, the first thing that strikes your mind is the picture of a solar panel. The solar panel is the basic component or the most important component of a solar system which converts sun's light into electricity. So we thought we'll discuss in detail about a solar panel in this video. So what you see here next to me is a solar panel. It's a monocrystalline solar panel. That's the reason why it's black in color. Usually monocrystalline solar modules are black in color. But yes, what is monocrystalline? Monocrystalline and polycrystalline. These are the two variants of solar modules which you get in market for the crystalline type of solar panels. Let's get into detail in the next video, but let me explain you in simple words. These things which are cut into wafers and put into a solar panel are called cells, solar cells, and they come in two variants, monocrystalline and polycrystalline. As the name suggests, poly means many types of silica put into a wafer, mono means a single physical property or chemical property of silica put into the wafer monocrystalline and polycrystalline most of the time you see solar modules in blue color that's mostly polycrystalline because polycrystallines are made in blue color because of the chemical on top of them and this is a monocrystalline module this is a lg 400 watt peak module so now what does that 400 watt peak mean 400 watts is the output of this solar panel that's the power output of this solar panel this solar panel can produce 400 watts up to 400 watts if it, if it is put under the sun solar panels come in different shapes and sizes depending on the usage where you want it and how you want it you can see solar panels on top of street lights you can see solar panels on top of roofs but they are of different sizes different sizes of solar panels produce different wattage of power talking about the physical appearance of the panel this solar panel weighs around 20 kilos some panels can weigh even 24 up to 25 kilos they, they don't weigh more than that and there are totally 72 cells in this panel there are also solar panels with 60 cells and there are also panels with more number of cells how the manufacturer makes it the solar panel has a front layer which is a toughened glass when i say toughened glass it's a treated glass so it's hard and if it breaks it doesn't break in pieces it shattered then it is nicely framed into an aluminium uh, frame this is anodized aluminium it's not just aluminium it's anodized it's again a treated form of aluminium to avoid corrosion because the atmosphere has a lot of uh, impurities which can react to this aluminium and change its color but this anodizing on the aluminium will not change its color it gives a better redundancy better look for the solar panel so the frame of solar panel is mostly anodized aluminium also comes in different colors this one is silver colored there are also black color framed modules looks aesthetically good and apart from that back side of the module which you see here those white spots is the back sheet it's called the back sheet there is a back sheet to protect the module from the back side and then there is a junction box from where you take the output from the solar panel so there is a positive wire and a negative wire because solar panel is a dc supplier so dc has only positive and negative as i said in this solar panel there are totally 72 cells arranged in a pattern and each cell is connected to its neighboring cell in a series fashion series means positive to negative positive to negative like how we connect our batteries so the top layer of the first cell gets connected to the bottom of the second cell again the top layer of the second cell goes to the bottom of the third cell so it goes in series again goes up and down up and down this is how it is uh, uh, wired in series that way of wiring increases the voltage if each cell's voltage is 0.6 volt then it gets added up for every cell so 0.6 multiplied by 72 cells that's why your solar panels output is around 40 45 volt okay now how to choose a solar panel for your installation 
how how do you have to uh, select a solar panel because there are n number of uh, modules available in the market there are modules with frame there are modules without frame there is a monocrystalline there is a polycrystalline there are modules which are heat sensitive there are modules which are shadow sensitive of course solar panel has to be shadow sensitive but there are also technologies involved in module making which makes it less sensitive to shadows so how to choose a good solar module for your installation polycrystalline solar modules was ruling the market in india because india is a tropical country and solar panels are put under the sun so it, it is undergoing a lot of uh, heat it's put under a lot of heat polycrystalline modules can handle heat much better than monocrystalline in previous days but nowadays monocrystalline is also keeping up the edge there are nowadays monocrystalline modules which are having a better temperature coefficient there is this term on every solar modules data sheet called temperature coefficient temperature coefficient means per degree rise in temperature how much will be the loss in the module so you should always look for the temperature coefficient chart which is on the module data sheet so this tells you how sensitive the module is towards heat monocrystalline solar modules are much more efficient than the polycrystalline modules because of its crystalline structure it is more sensitive to light than of the polycrystalline module so when you have space constraints you when you have only less amount of space but you'll have to install more solar power on your roof then you can always go for the monocrystalline module that's an option for you and if you want a aesthetically better looking solar module you can go for a frameless module for example if you will need a solar plant on top of your swimming pool which has to look aesthetically better then you can also go with this frameless solar modules which come also in different patterns and different colors so solar panels are available in all these different fashions the next thing to know in detail about is about a solar cell the thing that is in my hand is a solar cell this is how one of these cell will look like from the front which you are already seeing and this is the back side of the cell in this cell you can see vertical lines running from top to bottom and also small horizontal lines these fingers we call them and bus bars are running across the panel everywhere to collect those electrons which are moving in the cell so this is how a cell will look like and this cell has 12 bus bars to effectively collect all the electrons when there is too many electrons uh, excited then there is a lot of traffic in the bus bar so which is avoided by using so many bus bars if you look close into this cell you can see all the bus bars are evenly spaced which is also avoiding micro cracks so if there is a small micro crack in a solar cell the cell is still covered by a bus bar so when you look for solar panels look for modules with good quality bus bars and more number of bus bars to avoid traffic in the bus bar but this is a special technology which involves 12 bus bars as i already told you this is only available with lg now and the bus bars are also circle in their cross section normally bus bars are all flat what happens when light hits them it gets reflected back but in this circular bus bars when light hits it goes inside due to the reflection from the bus bar and undergoes a multiple internal reflection increasing the output of the cell so that's how uh, inside of a cell looks like so that was just an outline about a solar panel if you will need anything in detail please comment or send us a message asking for it and then we'll make a detailed description of that particular feature of a solar panel thank you